In this video, we're going to take a look at how you find a role. Now today's goal, and I want you to write this down in your notes, you, you want to be able to look at an input and output table and find the role for the pattern that you see in that table. Now here's a $100,000 tip that I want you to write down in your notes. It's important to know that if the numbers increase, the operations can only be multiplication or addition. What I mean by increase, that means the numbers are getting bigger. And also if the numbers decrease, the operations can only be either division or subtraction. So I want you to write this down in your notes. Now the key tip for, this, for the day, okay, I want you to write this down in your notes as well that in order for something to be a role, it must work for all of the pairs in the table. Okay, so that means you need to, you can see the second key tip, you want to try your role on each input to make sure that it produces the correct output. So we're not just finding the role of the first two numbers, and then we're saying that's the role. We need to be able to make sure that it produces the correct output for every single part of the table. Okay, we're going to take a look at our first input and output table. Okay, and what we need to do first of all is see that the input, we can see we have 3 here, then it is increasing to 15. Now, since it's increasing to 15, that means we have two options as far as operations. It's either going to be multiplication or addition because the numbers are getting larger. Okay, so we need to figure out what is happening to 3 in order to making it 15. Okay, so now I can add 12, okay, to 3. That's going to give me 15. Or I could multiply by 5. Okay, I have two options here. So add 12 or multiply by 5. Okay, so what I will do is to my next rule or my next input output, if I add 12 to my 15, I'm sorry, to my 5, that's going to give me 17 and that does not give me 25. Okay. However, if I were to multiply by 5, I know that does equal 25. So it seems like the rule is multiply by 5. However, we're not just going to stop there. We're going to keep on going. If I multiply 8 by 5, I know that gives me the output of 40, Okay, which is the correct answer here. And if I multiply my 10 by 5, and that's going to give me the answer of 50 as well. Okay, so I can see the role of multiplying by 5 works for each input and in creating the correct output. So if I multiply 3 by 5, that gives me 15. 5 times 5 equals 25. 8 times 5 equals 40. And then 10 times 5 equals 50. I could say that the role for this table is just simply multiply by 5. Okay, and I would just write that out. So multiply by 5 is the rule. I can just write this anywhere here. Multiply by 5 is my answer for this problem. Okay, so we have another input output table set up a little bit differently, but still the same. It's important to identify which one is the input and which one is the output. So my top row is the input, so that means we put 7 in and 10 came out for the output. Now 7 is obviously increasing, so that means our two operations can either be addition or multiplication for this. Okay, so we know that 7 increases by 3 to make it 10. And there's not really anything you can multiply 7 by, any whole number you can multiply 7 by in order to equal 10. So I'm just going to say we're going to add 3 to the 7. And we're going to see if it works for our 12. Let's add 3 to that 12. That gives me 15. Adding 3 to that 7 gave me 10, so so far so good. Adding 3 to the 19 is going to give me 22. So far, so good. Then finally, adding 3 to that 30 gives me 33. Okay, so the rule for this table, in other words, what's happening to each number in order each input making it an output is going to be simply add three 
3 is the rule for this table. Okay, I want you to do this problem with me, so I want you to pause the video, and I do want you to copy down this input-output table. So you need to pause the video, copy it down, and then press play, and then we'll work this problem out together. Okay, so now that you have this written out, okay, we're going to go through this problem together. The first thing we want to do is see what's happening from our input to our output. So we can see we're going from 25 to 20, 28 to 23, you can see our numbers are decreasing. And since our numbers are decreasing, we're either going to be dealing with subtraction or division. Okay. Now, what we want to do first of all is test out some problems here. So 25 to 20, I know that we can subtract 25 and that will give us 20. There's not really a whole number that we can divide 25 by to get to 20. So we're going to see if the subtract 5 could be our rule. So 25 minus 5 equals 20. 28 minus 5 equals 23. That is correct. 30 minus 5 is going to give me 25. You can see I'm going through every single input output to make sure it's the correct rule. And then finally 35 minus 5 is giving me the answer of 30. So I could see that subtracting 5 is the rule for every single input output. Okay, so the rule for this input output we could just simply write down even at the bottom of your table. We'll just write subtract and you'll write it underneath your table actually. Subtract, I'm kind of running out of room here. Subtract 5 for the answer. Okay, just like you copied down the previous input output table, I want you to do that as well for this one. So copy it down and then we'll work this problem out together. So copy it down in your notes and you can press play and we'll work through it together. Okay, now that you've copied it down in your notes, let's work through this problem together. We have 3 going from 3 to 18, 5 to 30, 7 to 42, 9 to 54. You can see obviously each number is increasing so that means we're going to be either working with multiplication or addition okay so 3 to 18 is increasing by 15 okay so it could be add 15 okay we'll test that out that works for the first one however 5 plus 15 actually gives me 20 okay so that is not going to work as my rule okay so we can test them out I tested them out on the first two. It did not work. Okay. However, let's see if we can multiply 3 times a certain number to give me 18. Now I know that 3 times 6 will give me 18. Let's see if 5 times 6. What does 5 times 6 give me? I know 5 times 6 gives me 30, so so far so good. 7 times 6. That's going to equal 42. So far, so good. And finally, 9 times 6, that's going to equal 54. Okay, so I can see that the rule for this input output table, okay, is actually multiply by 6. And you will just write that down multiply by 6. Now, what I want you to do is copy this input output table. You're going to work this problem out all by yourself when you're finished. With working it out, I want you to press play and I'll have the answer for you. So copy this input output table down and pause the video now. Now the rule for this input output table is multiply by 3. The reason why I know that is I have 3 times 3 gives me 9, 8 times 3 is 24, 9 times 3 is 27, and then 10 times 3 does give me 30. So the rule for this input out table, input output table is multiply by 3. Let's take a look at the next one. We have an input output table and I want you to copy this problem down and when you're finished copying it down I want you to work it out in your notes and then when you press play I will have the answer for you. So I want you to pause the video now. Okay the rule for this input output table is divide by 5. The reason why I know that is 50 divided by 5 does give me 10. 45 divided by 5 gives me 9. 40 divided by 5 gives me 8, and then finally 35 divided by 5 equals 7. And what I finally want you to do is complete one more input output table, 
at your seats, okay? I want you to pause the video, copy this input output table. Now, you not only need to find the rule, but you also are going to need to be able to find that missing number in the output table. You can see next to that 80 that is missing. So you want to find the rule, then from there you want to find that missing number. So pause the video now, and then I will give you the answer once you press play. So pause the video now. Okay, now that you've worked this problem out, we can see first of all the rule for this input output table is subtract 50 from each number. We take 100, we subtract 50, that gives us 50. Take 90, subtract 50, that gives us 40. We take 80, we subtract 50. This missing number right here is the number 30. Okay, and then we can see 70 subtract 50 gives us 20. So that missing number there is 30. So that is how you find the rules and missing numbers within input and output tables. Please come and see me if you have any questions about this concept.